react to another video. In the video of today I like to talk about the Flip 4. So it's a Bluetooth speaker that I now using. I ordered it on eGlobal Central. I will put some links in down the description for different kind of countries. So I get it there very cheap. Normally it's about 130 euros and there I could get it for around 78 euros. So that's pretty decent. Inside of the box you only have a micro USB cable and a manual. So not very much extras. The unboxing I was very impressed with the build. Uh, in the shop it looked a little bit terrible. But now when I yeah, have it here in real life it looks very nice. The best rated are in this color okay. In the black color you have some fingerprints on it. So I really recommend you guys to take it in a lighter color like this. So you don't have any issues with yeah, getting uh, uh, problems with fingerprints or yeah, scratches. And yeah, the sound I have listened to a big room and it sounds pretty nice. And yeah, when you uh, take a look at all the functionalities, so uh, the Bluetooth, the ABL Connect, so you can connect it with another JBL Pulse or uh, yeah, Pulse 3 or Flip 4 like this one. And you also have, of course, still the battery indication, the volume buttons, the Bluetooth button, the play and pause, and also skip button. And here, next or behind the flap, you of course have the mic USB and the auxiliary port. The flap, when it's wet, is very difficult to get open, so keep that in mind. And yeah, overall the build is about the same as the George 3 was, but I find it a little bit more uh, refined. So everything is a little bit better stick to each other. And uh, if there's something that's annoying me, then it's this stupid roll. I will also put it off it when I'm doing something like a water test, for example. Because it's waterproof as uh, the previous speakers. So you can submerge it in water, like about 1 meter 30 minutes. So that's still something that you will doing and it's pretty nice. With the Charge 3, uh, sadly the screws weren't very proof for water on the front. So I had to replace the tools two times. And yeah, I hope that this speaker maybe don't uh, has that issue. And also uh, when you see this form, like uh, the Charge 3 was really like normal, yeah, normal form. And you can see this speaker is a little bit yeah, edged to each other here. So that's a little bit different and yeah, it's of course much smaller. But let's get right into the sound. Of course I don't have a very nice microphone, but yeah, uh, I can at least show you guys how it sounds about. I have an old iPhone and I will put some music on. So that's about the sound. I will of course go more into it. Impressed with how clear it sounds. Of course, it's a little bit less loud than the Jaws 3 was, but you get some yeah, more clearness. Sometimes the treble is a little bit too high, so sometimes it can sound a little bit distorted. Uh, the bass is there, but could be better. Like you have it, but don't expect too much. And yeah, the mids are there. It's all okay. Yeah, overall the sound is very nice. A little bit maybe under yeah the expectation like you should expect maybe for this kind of price it normally is but for the price that i have ordered it it's very nice and yeah the battery life something i still have to test out and how the waterproofness is and also how the overall functionality is with the bluetooth range all that kind of stuff 
I want to thank guys for watching. I will make a more detailed video about uh, where I ordered this Yable Flip 4. I also ordered the Bang Olsen S3. So this is also a Bluetooth speaker without a battery. But that was also for a very nice price on that website. And I will talk more into it in the next video. I want to thank you guys for watching to this video. And uh, see you guys in the next video. Bye.